guys welcome back okay so it is that time again actually way past that time <laughs> whoever heard of somebody doing like monthly shop my stashes i think it's been even over a month at this point because we're in june now but yeah i just want to as quickly as possible run through my latest shop my stash stuff there's also of course some other miscellaneous items in here that i have <laughs> added and have been using over the last you know few weeks as well that i want to just kind of run through and let you know if i have any thoughts on them but yeah this is my june shop my stash and i've been using these products i think since like late april probably so anywho let's go ahead and jump in and run through and then we can pick some new stuff to enjoy over the next month or so so like i typically do i'll start out with like my skincare and prep items so this first item here is the clean skin club vitamin c brightening booster this is the watermelon green tea and pineapple it's like a serum, a brightening serum. And I actually really like this serum. I have used this serum actually through two of my Shop My Stashes. So yeah, I'm about this much done with it, I think. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell in this bottle. But yeah, I'm about a third of the way done already. I really like it a lot. Um, like I said previously, you don't know if it's actually brightening or anything like that on my skin but I know it feels really good it smells nice and it just really leaves a nice hydrated feel to my skin now for moisturizer I did go ahead and choose the belief true cream aqua balm this stuff really really nice if you've ever used this before you know that it is extremely hydrating and it just <laughs> makes your skin feel so nice and if you have um dry skin this is really really nice because it is very moisturizing but it's not heavy it's very very lightweight so i really like this stuff now for primers this first one here this nyx the marshmallow primer i really had high hopes for this because a lot of people really really like this i got this like as a little sample from ulta and so I was really hoping to like it, expecting to like it, but I don't really care for this. I don't like it at all. And I think it's just because I don't feel like, at least for me, it did anything specific as, you know, most primers do. Like either they're moisturizing or they're blurring or they're pore filling. And I just felt like this was just another layer of product on my face, but it didn't really do anything for me. So I don't know, I guess for some other people it works out nice, but for me, I probably wouldn't choose this. I won't buy it. Um, it's just not something that I care for. Now this next primer here on the other hand, this Milani Rose Primer Prep and Hydrate. Very nice, very lightweight. Um, smells nice. And it feels really, really good. This is very, um, how can I say, hydrating. You know, it just, it feels good. <laughs> it does, it just, it feels so good to me going on. I wanted to just use this and use this only. But it's just a really nice primer. I like it a lot. It's lightweight and I felt like it definitely, um, moisturized my skin as well as priming so yeah i like this a lot now for setting sprays i did choose this ColourPop no filter setting mist now i do feel like this is a good setting mist if you like a matte finish to your face um i think it, it does actually work in that aspect but what i don't like about this you can't tell now because i shook it up before before i started the video but it always has this, you know, whatever it is in here that makes it matte, it just settles all at the bottom of the spray bottle. And you have to shake this vigorously for like five minutes before you can even get everything to mix together. So I don't care for that. But other than that, I think this is a decent setting spray if you do like a matte finish because it's not anything, you know, dewy or hydrating or anything like that. This will help your makeup to stay matte. So yeah, it's cool, but I don't like having to shake it up. Now, the Morphe Setting Mist, 
<laughs> love this stuff have loved it ever since it's it came out and i just you know use this kind of intermittently between my other two setting sprays this month I like it. That's not going to change. And I'm going to always and forever use this. And then this was actually added after I, you know, purchased it and hauled it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day, which of course I haven't been partying and staying anywhere except for in the house. But <laughs> I do really like it so far. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and... I like it. I like how it sets my makeup, the finish, and it it does. It stays until I take it off, that's for sure. So I like this stuff. Okay, so before I talk about the foundations and the concealers that I chose, I just wanted to talk briefly about this Juvia's Place Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. <laughs> I Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. I have the shade 02 or 2, I should say. There it is there. Um, this is a very, very nice eye base. It is. What I don't like about this is the fact that I have to remember to shake it up because it separates and it'll be extremely watery if you don't shake it up. And then the other thing I don't like is that a lot of it kind of comes out. So you end up taking out way more than you need if you're not careful with this tube. But other than that, this is an excellent eye base. I really, really like it. But um, honestly, if I had to choose between this and the P. Louise, just for my own preference, I would choose the P. Louise because I don't have to worry about shaking it up. And it's a little bit more of like a drier type formula. It's not quite as wet. They are very similar, but it's not quite as wet as the Juvia's Place at least in my opinion, um, prior to, you know, blending it out. So yeah, I would choose the P. Louise just because the Juvia's, I don't want to have to think about shaking up my eyeshadow primer every time I use it. So other than that, I like it a lot. Okay, so let's quickly talk about some foundations that I chose. Now I did try out this Kat Von D um, Good Apple. I have the shade Tan 072. Um... This is really cool. It really is. I love the packaging on this. I'm not really into like the cream or stick type foundations. I'm really more so into liquids, but just trying this out, I actually really liked it. It looked really, really nice on me. It did, well, I should say for me, my oils in my skin definitely came peeking through, <laughs> you know, using this foundation, but it is a balm, I believe. Is it a foundation balm? Yeah, it is. So, you know, that's kind of to be expected. It's probably better for someone who has dry skin, which I do not. But other than that, the finish on this, so, so nice. I really like it, really enjoyed it, and would definitely use this again. Even though it's, you know, kind of like a balm, a cream, it didn't feel super heavy to me or anything like that so i do like it next i did try out the lc micro silk foundation i picked this up on sale from beauty bay i believe couldn't help it the cute little bottle the shades i felt like you know i could really find my match and i did this is a perfect match for me in the shade chestnut and i really like this foundation i like the finish it has a nice kind of like I don't know what is it like a natural i mean it has coverage oop that was way too much so yeah it has a really nice just kind of like natural coverage um i would say it's more on like the demi matte type of coverage mm, just right off the bat i don't remember exactly how it dries down but as you can see here really good uh, color match and it does it just has a nice healthy finish to it so i really enjoyed this i'm glad that i picked it up and would definitely grab this to use again and lastly i did go ahead and try the lys triple fix serum foundation i do have the shade dg7 that's what that looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, I do have the shade DG7. And this foundation, I can see why they say it's a serum foundation. It does actually feel serum-like <laughs> when you're applying it. 
very lightweight, not extreme heavy, heavy coverage, but you know, if you don't need a lot of coverage, it's definitely enough. And I just, I really like the packaging. I would say I probably won't gravitate to this foundation that often just because the shade for me is a little bit off. I felt like this, the undertone for this was not warm enough. I feel like maybe it was a little too cool for me, but you know, once I do powder and bronzer and all that stuff, I definitely can make it work. But the finish of it, very, very nice, natural, kind of light, dewy serum type finish. I like it. So for concealers, I didn't try anything new. I did grab my e.l.f. The Camo Concealer. So this is the one that is definitely more matte than the hydrating one. And I like this concealer when I want like extra coverage. This is the Deep Cinnamon. I also grabbed my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And I think I am going to um, keep this for the next shot my stash. This one as well as another shade. This one is Dark 175 Neutral. And I have another shade as well because I think I'm going to go with a ColourPop foundation or skin tint or something for this next go round. So yeah, I think I'm probably going to end up keeping this. I really like these. It doesn't provide extreme coverage, but I like the kind of like lightweight dewy feel to this. I feel like it just looks nice and light and natural once you blend it out, especially if you use a sponge. So I like this concealer. And then lastly, I have my NYX HD concealer. I use this more so underneath my foundation for like my dark circles and discoloration and stuff. And it works out well. I use CW07.5 for that. So yeah, I'll probably end up keeping this as well. Okay, so let's move on to these powders. So I did try out the LYS um, Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Dark Deep. And <laughs> I don't know, you guys. It's like I still don't really have an opinion on this powder. And it might just be because of the fact that it is so close to my skin tone and just look so kind of like lightweight that it's hard for me to even tell when I put it on. It really just feels like like nothing to me. It feels like I'm not putting anything on, even though I know I am. I can see it, you know, on my finger. But I don't know. It's just it just didn't do enough for me to actually feel like okay, that's a nice powder. And I mean, it is called the translucent setting powder, even though it's in dark deep. So maybe it's just something that I'm really not used to, a powder that has color to it that actually looks translucent because it does. So I don't know. I'll try it again at another time. But for now, I'm just, I'm kind of sick of it, to be honest with you. <laughs> You know, it's like just putting extra product on your face and you don't even feel like it's doing anything. Like, what's the point, right? So I also tried out the Huda Beauty. This is the loose powder in the shade Cinnamon Bun. And listen, it's called Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I love this stuff. This stuff is so nice, okay? So nice. You know, when I really like a product, I have to let you guys know but I bought this initially just to, and it has a little net thing in there, but I bought this initially to use just under my eyes because I thought maybe it was a little bit lighter, but I found that this powder, I can actually use this all over my face. So I just kind of go in and set under my eyes and then I will set the rest of my face just lightly tapping this. And this stuff is so bomb. Okay, it is so bomb. Um, yeah, I will definitely be revisiting this soon. Okay, next, I did pull my Fenty Beauty. This is actually the powder foundation, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 400. Um, just, you know, in case <laughs> I needed it. So this is one that I actually keep in my purse as well because it's just, it's, it's the perfect powder foundation, just like for touch-ups, just to even out your skin, all that kind of stuff. It works nicely. So I actually like to keep this in my purse. 
as well. But yeah, so you guys already know I love this. And then lastly, I did pull my DJ's Unique Boutique. This powder is definitely a go-to. I use the shade Honey for me. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I love this powder so much and it just it works amazing okay you guys don't judge me when it comes to blush I love blush you can never have too much blush okay <laughs> so do not judge the amount of blushes that I have I actually had to put my crayon case blush binder back because it was just out of control so this palette here the makeup in Yolanda or playing in makeup with Yolanda um bloom blush palette very nice i like the quality of the blushes in this palette very very nice quality nice stain power and highly pigmented and i love the shades that she chose in here definitely a year-round blush palette but you know for spring and summer this blush palette is popping okay very very nice so yeah, I enjoyed this. Now, <laughs> I did go ahead and pull all of my new Moira Beautiful Ombre blushes. And I loved every minute of them. I don't think I used all of them. I know for a fact I used this one because I really, really love this. This one is Soft Berry. So, yeah, this one, beautiful. I know I also use this one, which is Orange Blossom. Oh my goodness. The pigmentation is crazy on these blushes. And I love them to death. You know, have that beautiful etching in there. Gorgeous. This one, I don't think I use. This one is Tender Rose, just in case you're curious. So it's more, you know, of a lighter type blush. But I didn't try it, so I just swatched it. And it's very pretty as well. This one here, Ruby Flush, more of a pinky tone, gorgeous. I don't think I used this one either. And then this last one here is Bella Pink. This one I did use, gorgeous as well. Very pink, very beautiful. So honestly, I would say all of them are <laughs> gorgeous. It's just a matter of preference. Um, you know, in shade with what you like. If you want to try them out, they're all really, really nice. Now, I also pulled the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Mattes, one of the shades that she has. This one is Desert Rose. Oh my goodness, so, so gorgeous. This, you only need the teeny tiniest amount do not put a lot of this on your face or on your hand to blend it out. Just the teeny tiniest drop and it's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I really like this. I just have to remember, just use a little because you don't want to waste it. And then lastly, I did purchase two of the LYS blushes. I showed these in my last haul and I could not wait. I had to try them out. So this one here is Passion. Look at that, you guys. Gorgeous. And as you can see, they are cream blushes. My favorite way to apply these is with the butt end of my sponge, <laughs> a damp sponge, and just tapping it all over my cheeks. Extremely pigmented, okay? But they blend out so beautifully. It just looks like a natural flush of color on your skin. It's so gorgeous. I love these blushes. <laughs> love them. And then this one here is Inspire. Gorgeous. I can't, I would say this is my favorite. It has like that just beautiful terracotta orange type shape. But it's not orange. It's like, I don't know, you guys. What color is this? What is it? What are, it's beautiful. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is beautiful. And I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> if you have not try these or if you're looking for a cream blush to try listen these are amazing these are bomb so definitely check it out okay highlighters 
This here is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Highlighter. And as you can see, it is a little liquid highlighter. These can be kind of tricky to use. That's why I don't really use them that often. This one does have, you know, a little applicator to it. But ugh, these highlighters are so gorgeous. And, you know, you don't need a lot. You don't have to put a lot down. That was probably too much. But, oh my goodness, just the way that they look on the skin and then they dry down and it's just, ah, oh, it's so gorgeous. Man, look at that. Oh, anyways, it's gorgeous. So, love this. And then I also use this um, Plain and Makeup by Yolando Born to Shine Diamond Highlighter Palette. I picked this up recently and wanted to try it out because... The pictures, oh my goodness, were just ridiculous. And even here, you know, in person, it looks ridiculous. It's so freaking pretty. But I think I might have even mentioned in one of my videos when using this that although the highlighter is absolutely gorgeous, just beautiful, it's a little more like glitter glitterly <laughs> glittery on my face than I like like even on the camera I don't know if you guys can see it doesn't look glitterly <laughs> why can't I say glittery today it doesn't look glittery but on my face it doesn't have just that smooth silky look to me it definitely looks like I'm just putting you know highlighter on my face Whereas if you look at the wet and wild, like liquid one here, I don't know if you can really see, but it just doesn't look as textured as the Plan and Makeup by Yolanda ones do. So although they're super gorgeous and it's not anything bad, it's just, it doesn't give me that super silky smooth glow like the, like the wet and wild. It's just pretty but a little bit too much sparkle see you can probably see it there you know just a little too much sparkle so yeah but they're gorgeous though you can see here beautiful and then lastly I was playing around with this tower 28 oh my gosh this is a bronzino in the shade west coast I saw this on Instagram and just about died <laughs> and had to have it and listen if you're looking for just a nice, natural, lit from within type of glow, when you tap this on your cheekbones, like where can I put this? I'll put it here. When you tap this on your cheekbones, like with your finger or with a sponge, you see that? It just, it makes your, your cheekbones just look like you have a natural glow just shining from within. It is the perfect highlight, in my opinion. It is. It's a bomb. And so, you know, it's supposed to be like a bronzer. But of course, for me, it is just like the perfect highlight. So this is my favorite. This one is gorgeous. And these are pretty, but just not natural looking enough for me. So, honey, y'all see beautiful so check this out if you're just looking for a little just natural healthy glow this is perfect for women of color okay we're coming down to the wire i have bronzers and i have a couple of mascaras here to talk about so for bronzer this lys this one is the no limits matte bronzer in the shade worthy which is deep and I was a little concerned at first that it would be a little too deep for me, but this actually looks really, really nice for my skin tone. Very nice, smooth application, and it does not come off like, like this, looking at it, I would be like, oh, that's a contour for sure. But somehow, when I put it on, it just worked out nicely. It looked really good, nice, deep bronzer for me, and I really enjoyed this. Now, it's funny because looking at, let me see if I can, you see how dark that is. 
And then I also tried out the Juvia's Place bronzed, bronze, is it bronzy? <laughs> bronzed in dark. And it is just, this is the perfect bronzer for me. It is perfect i love it when i use it it's just i don't know if it's because you know i haven't been able to experience the outside and <laughs> so i'm not as dark as i normally am this time of year but this top one right here perfect for me right now i love it now when you look at this shade compared to the lys you know, it's like, uh-uh, no way. That's way too dark. But it just, it's just a different type of bronze, a different type of look. And I love both of them. I still have not used this shade down here because whenever I use this, it's enough. But, you know, this bronzer be hitting. It be, it hit different, honey. This one here is bomb. I also pulled this Sephora bronzer. I don't even know if I use this, to be honest with you, because I pulled this as like a backup bronzer if I didn't like the other two. And clearly, I loved both of them. So I don't even think that I use this, but this is a great bronzer as well. The Sephora bronzed in the shade Ibiza is what I have. And then lastly, I did want to touch on two mascaras that I have in my stash right now this Maybelline Sky High. I have been using this for a couple of months actually and ever since I tried it out non-stop and I'm, I finally finished it. It's you know like done and I have to say this is a pretty nice mascara. It is even though I've been you know doing the falsies and stuff when I put this on prior to or and on my lower lashes it's really really good a little bit of lengthening a little bit of volume i like it a lot okay so this this worked out but i'm glad i'm done with it now this i actually just pulled out of my drawer because i wanted to you know start using another one thrive um cosmetics this is the liquid lash extensions mascara this stuff was my favorite, the bomb, a few years ago. And I just kind of took a break from it because I was using it nonstop for like a year. And so I pulled this back out. You guys, this stuff is still the bomb. It is still the bomb, okay? So if you ever wondered about this Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, and it's pricey too. My girl Lily sent this to me, and I've been holding on to this for dear life. But yeah, it's really, really good. Definitely worth the price. I love it. Okay, you guys. So what's left? Palettes. <laughs> um, my favorite part now, um, besides blush and highlight, <laughs> palettes, my favorite part. These are the loose pigments that my girl DJ from, or just Peachy D from DJ's Unique Boutique came out with recently. Oh my gosh. Beautiful little bundle of loose pigments and when i tell you guys these pigments i know a lot of people shy away from pigment pigments <laughs> i know a lot of people shy away from pigments because they can be messy but um you know if you just take your time with them tap a little bit out dip your brush in it it's just like using eyeshadow quite honestly but these super easy to use super duper easy and blend like a dream. I did go ahead and do a really cute, like springy type look using these. I just want to show you guys the colors. But these are all the colors in her bundle. Some blues, green, yellow, orange. Some of them are shimmery. Some of them are just regular matte. But they're absolutely beautiful. And, you know, hopefully I remember to put up on the screen, um picture of the look that I created with these beautiful. So if you want to try out some pigments, I definitely would suggest these because very easy to use and blend like a dream. They work just like regular eyeshadow in my opinion. I love them. Next we have here the Unique Beauty Bubble Time Pressed Pigment Palette. Ugh. I picked up a few of these little palettes from Unique Beauty and I mean, just the look of them, the color stories are absolutely gorgeous. As you can see here, their shimmers are out of this world. But the pigmentation, 
bomb. So yeah, I did go ahead and play with this. Love, love, loved it. And that's what she looks like. I just recently picked up this High Tide palette from ColourPop. Um, I don't know if this is an Ulta exclusive or not. I ordered mine from Ulta because they came out with a few palettes, of course. You know, we're talking about ColourPop here. But I ordered mine from Ulta as soon as I saw it. I wanted this one. They came out with another one. But this is the only one that impressed me. So I picked it up. This is what it looks like. It's aqua themed, okay? Aqua themed, gorgeous. So I did go ahead, use this in an eye look. I did pair it with one of my magical makeup shimmers and I felt like the eye look was very, very beautiful. Very bold, of course, colorful, but this palette is really, really pretty, really nice. So check out that video if you're curious about this. I liked it a lot. ColourPop did good with that one. Okay, so next I have here this bronzed rustic palette from Juvia's Place. Look at that. Very pretty. Look at this color story. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's so pretty. And yeah, I did do a look using this palette. You know, not as bold and colorful as other looks that I've done. But I really enjoyed using this. It was really pretty. If you like this color story, you know, you can't beat it for the prices at Juvia's. And especially if they go on sale. This is my <laughs> little beat up palette of my Magical Makeup Singles that I picked up. I also have some in here from, what is it called? The Collective Cosmetics. I haven't used any of those as of yet. But these over here... These are all my magical makeups. They're all the super pretty sparkly ones over here. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. Um, these shadows are absolutely gorgeous. They're the bomb. But it's magical makeup. I would definitely um, suggest trying them out because they're very nice. This is the Serenity palette. This is Annette's collab with Menagerie Cosmetics. I don't know why I like saying that menagerie <laughs> but this is her beautiful palette here gorgeous butterflies it's just so so pretty i love the look that i created with her palette <laughs> i do i want to play around really with the purples a lot more like a pinky purple look or even like an orange and purple look but i like it it's a gorgeous palette it performed very very nicely um like I said in my video, the shimmers are a little more textured than I thought they would be, but the pigmentation is perfect. So really, really like this palette. Now this palette here, the So Mermazing from Clarity Cosmetics, I was just like, you know, as soon as I saw it, it was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. It's gorgeous. What I will say about Clarity, if I can open it, um, their shimmers are out of this world just out of this world gorgeous beautiful i mean look at that now the mattes in this palette i will say are definitely a lot lighter in person than i thought they would be compared to like the pictures and the swatches and stuff definitely a lot lighter so for me with this palette as a go-to definitely for the shimmers um for the mattes, I would use these shades, at least on my skin tone, to blend out darker shades, like blend out the edges of darker shades, lighten up darker shades. I would use it in that sense um, because of the fact that they are so light. I couldn't see for myself just using these shades like for a pastel look. I would like something with a little more punch to it because these are super light. So on more fair skin tones, I think they will show up beautifully. But for me, they're just a little bit light. But honey, these shimmers, ugh, y'all know how I feel about shimmers. Look at those. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Anyway, so that is that. This Into the Tropics. So this palette I did combine with the So Mermazing. Oh, this is from Beauty Dame. This palette is a color lover's dream, okay? Do you see this? This is just, ah, oh, 
It's beautiful. They got some shimmers, got the mattes. I love looking at this palette. Looking at this palette just makes me happy. It's so freaking pretty. And the pigmentation, very, very nice. So yeah, if you like this palette, definitely try out Beauty Dame. Very nice, affordable brand. So check them out. Also played with this OPV Tropical Dreams eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I've been wanting to play with this palette like for so long because I have just been in love with this color story like ever since I first saw it. And I wouldn't buy it because it was like kind of pricey and with shipping and everything, it was just a bit much. But they put all these palettes on the boxy pop-up, add-on, whatever it was. And I snagged, I don't know how many of these OPV palettes. I was so happy when I saw that, honey. But this color story, oh my goodness, get out of town. This color story is so gorgeous. I love it. And I really, this palette is very nicely pigmented. Um, I really enjoyed using this, so that's that next here i have my ace beauté nostalgia palette this palette another absolutely gorgeous color story i mean just beautiful look at that beautiful and i see this definitely is like summertime palette you know although it does have like browns and purples in here so you can definitely get away with a fall look with the green but yeah, this palette for sure says summertime fine and it's really, really nice. Nicely pigmented. I had a lot of fun with this, playing with the purples and the greens. Very, very nice. Played with another OPV palette. This one is the Rainbow Splash. It's so funny. I didn't think I was going to get around to playing with this, but I did. And I gravitated to like the purples, the purple type feel, purple type theme. And so that's the type of look that I did. And I loved that look. <laughs> I love purple on the eyes anyway, but it was just something about this look that it just, I don't know. It was very just regal to me and I really liked it. So enjoyed this palette as well. And then lastly, I have here the Morphe and Avani Greg for the bibs, whatever that means, palette. Um, I pulled this palette because, for one, of course, it's super colorful and gorgeous. But I wanted to play around with these water-activated liners down here. And it's so funny because I didn't even use any of them. I used um, another liner for the look that I did. And I ended up using these down here for my look. <laughs> so I gravitated more to these beautiful shades down here. So if you're wondering if you can use the water activated liners just as regular eyeshadow and if it shows up nicely, it does. Okay. Very pigmented, blended out nicely. I really like this palette. I could see myself gravitating to this palette quite a lot just because of the variation in shades in here. I mean, it pretty much has everything you could possibly need, including a black and a white. Everything is in here. Even if you like a couple of glitters, you know, there's some glitters in there too, the silver and the bronzy shade. But yeah, gray, got your purples, your blues, your greens, your warm, you know, earthy tones, and your super bright, there's everything in here. So I like this palette. If you're looking for like a well-rounded one and done type situation, this is a good choice. Okay, you guys. So that is it for me going through my shop, my stash. Like that wasn't enough, right? <laughs> and what I'm going to do is get this stuff put away and then we'll go and grab my items for this upcoming month. Okay, you guys, so over here on my little table, just to make things go a little bit quicker, I have already pulled a few items for my complexion that I already know I want to use for this upcoming Shop My Stash. So let's just quickly run through some of the products I'm going to be using for this next month. This is a highlighter. It's from Marc Jacobs, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that packaging. And let's see, this one is Jet Girl. 
Omega Glaze. So let me show you what this looks like. This is what this one looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry about the light, but I have my flash on so you can see what the product looks like better. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous and gorgeous highlighter. So I am pulling this one. Also for highlighter, I did go ahead and pull this Too Faced. Um, I believe this is actually like a bronzer. <laughs> it's chocolate diamond. And let's see here. Yeah, I believe this is actually supposed to be a bronzer. But of course, you know, on my skin tone, things like this are highlighters. So as you can see, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to pull that. And then along the lines of blush slash highlighter, I have this Revolution Pro Blush and Glow it's like a trio here and this one is cranberry glow oh my gosh i have looked at this watched it drooled over it ever since i first got it and you guys this thing is just is beautiful the blush the highlight it's all super duper gorgeous i don't want to start swatching because i know i'll be here forever if i do but this kind of deserves a swatch <laughs> so let's see if we can do this look at that isn't that gorgeous so yeah i cannot wait <laughs> to play in this so pretty so i'm pulling that okay so once again you guys know i always overdo it with the blush <laughs> this is a xx revolution blush here this one is called jitter j-i-t-t-e-r and so that is the color on there doesn't that say spring and summertime fine gorgeous okay so i'm pulling that also for blush this patrick ta this one is patrick ta for face she's that girl and you know his have the has the cream and the powder on the bottom so this blush is actually very very similar to the one from xx revolution so i'm going to see which one i like better but yeah this is gorgeous and i've been dying to use it also you guys know i had to grab at least one of the pat mcgrath labs divine blushes so this one here what shade did i get electric bloom okay so let me show you what this one looks like even though if you've been on YouTube, you've probably seen all of them quite a lot. I don't know. These are like hard to open in my opinion. Let me get this open. Okay. Finally got it open. <laughs> I know you hear them angels singing, honey. This mug is beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. But yeah. I took a chill pill and decided I only needed one, so this is the one I got. Okay, and then lastly for blush and highlight type items, I do want to play around with this ColourPop Quad. I used this once already. Love the blush. Have not tried out this bronzer or this highlight, so I definitely want to try those out. This one is Sweet Roll Cheek Palette from ColourPop. Really pretty. And then lastly for highlighter, I did go ahead and grab this Dior quad. I have pulled this before. Oh my goodness, these highlighters are just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So can't wait to play with these again. Very nice. This one is Dior Backstage Copper Gold. So yeah, this is the Copper Gold palette. Now also um, along the lines of Dior, this is a new powder that I picked up and really wanted to try out. This one, once again, the Dior Backstage. This is a face and body powder, no powder. And I got the shade 6N Neutral. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm hoping that <laughs> I like it. I don't know. It looks, I don't know. Looks like it has like a little bit of glow to it but that could just be how it looks in the pan not sure but definitely can't wait to try this also for powders i did pull my l'oreal infallible pro matte 
I have used this before. This one is 600 golden beige. I like to use this under my eyes to set my concealer when I want it a little bit brighter. I haven't been doing the super bright, super light um, under eyes. You know, I don't typically do that anyway. But lately I've been going really, really close to my skin tone. So I decided to just kind of brighten it up a little bit this go round. So I did pull this and this is a um, pressed powder. And I also pulled my new Gucci, <laughs> Gucci Poochie Beauty Powder. What shade do I have? 12. Okay, so I have 12. Let's take a look at this bougie powder, okay? So, you know, they do come in this little pouch, nice little pouch. And this is what it looks like. It's like the light peachy, um, what do you call it? Like, it's not baby pink, but anyway. So this is what the powder looks like. Very bourgeoisie. Um yeah i hope it works <laughs> i hope it works okay so we'll see what happens because y'all know this mug was expensive okay and then lastly on my table here i have a couple of bronzers this is my bronzer from the lip bar haven't used this in quite a while this is the fresh glow bronzer and blush duo in the shade double date so just in case you haven't seen this what's cool about these bronzers is you have your bronzer here on top and then you have a gorgeous blush underneath there is no there's no mirror in here is there a mirror that might be a mirror i don't know there's a brush in here that i never use but just in case you're curious very cute handy little blush and bronzer duo love 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 it so I pulled that and lastly I am pulling my Charlotte Tilbury this is the airbrush bronzer in the shade 4 haven't used this in a while either but she is gorgeous but yeah she is like one of the best bronzers on the market in my opinion love her and so I'm gonna be using her this go round okay you guys so similar to the previous items once again, I did go ahead and already pre-pick some items that I want to use in this shop, my stash. So for my foundations, I did go ahead and pull this, which is the Lip Bar Just a Tint 3-in-1 Tinted Skin Conditioner. Um, I want to try this out. This is one that I hauled recently in the shade Honey Dip. And so I'm really curious about how this is going to fare on my skin. I also chose the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. It says Naturally Radiant Foundation. I know I love this stuff when I used it in the past. Haven't used it in quite a while, so we're going to go ahead and pull this. I do have the shade Cappuccino, so let's see if this still matches me. I also pulled my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. You know, with it being summer coming up and it's really starting to warm up here in cali i decided i wanted to kind of just you know go with the lighter type skin tints moisturizers and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and pull this and this one is in the shade deep dark 21 w it looks like so gonna pull that and what i decided to do since i am using you know the lightweight uh, skin tints and moisturizers I decided to go ahead and pull the same brand's concealer <laughs> to you know go ahead and do that it's not very often when I use the same brand concealer as my foundation but that's what we're gonna do this month so I pulled the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer this one what shade is this warm caramel so gonna be using this I also pulled the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Um, if you remember, I already have one of these in my drawer from last month's Shop My Stash, but this one is a little darker. This one is Dark 180 in. So I'm going to pull both of them. So I have one that's a little lighter and one that's a little darker. See which one I prefer. And then lastly, I did pull this concealer from the Lip Bar. This is Quick Conceal caffeine concealer from what i recall this is a pretty decent or full coverage concealer if i'm not mistaken and this one is in the shade cinnamon or four so pulling that 
So for my skincare and serums and primers and whatnot, I did decide to go ahead and pull my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. Haven't used this in a while. I actually use um, the e.l.f. Daily Moisturizer in my bathroom. So it's in my bathroom. I use that typically in the mornings after I wash my face and everything. But this is the Holy Hydration Face Cream. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. It has hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. So I'm going to use this. I also pulled this Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. It says it's hydrating and I really want it to, you know, just feel nice and light and hydrated during this, you know, end of spring, early summer time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this and it's a two-in-one, you know, who doesn't like a two-in-one? So primer, serum. Lastly, for blurring primer serum, I have this e.l.f. This I absolutely love. Every time I use this, I don't want to put it back. I love this stuff. It's so nice, hydrating, definitely blurs my skin, and it just works out nicely whenever I do my makeup and use this underneath. It just has a nice, even look to it. So I'm going to pull this. Now for actual just straight up primer, I wanted to try this Marc Jacobs this one is the Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. And when I kind of test, tested this out on my hand, I really liked it. So I'm going to try this out, you know, on those times when I'm not using the primer serum. I'll try this out with my moisturizer and see if I like it. Now for sprays, I did go ahead and pull another ColourPop spray. This one is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. So I'm assuming that this one, I don't know, might be a little bit more of a natural finish or dewy type finish um, for your makeup. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and then lastly, I pulled this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So this one definitely says dewy. And Tatcha typically does what they say they're going to do. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out for those nice, just kind of natural, dewy type looks. I also pulled a couple of lashes. I have lashes all over the place, you guys. <laughs> That's one thing with lashes is like, you know, I wear them and then I don't wear them until I totally destroy them. I wear them, try another pair, try another pair, try another pair. So I have lashes all over the place that are still good, but I need to kind of start using some up. But this one here is from Profusion. You might have seen this in my last haul. These are Iconic Lashes, two pair of faux mink lashes in the style Oh Darling. And I thought these were really cute, really cute and dainty. I don't know if you can see that, but I like those. So I'm going to try these out. And then I also have one of the pair that I got from Sephora that was on sale. These are in the style Aquamarine. And I like the fact that these kind of flare out and get a little bit, you know, longer on the outer corners to kind of give you that like winged effect. So I like that about these and I'm going to try these out. Okay, you guys. So last but not least, let's go ahead and run through the eye products or eyeshadow palettes that I want to use. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the AC. It got a little hot, so I had to go ahead and turn it on <laughs> to finish this up. So this here, I grabbed, it's one of my little um, pots, gel pots from Beauty Creations that I got in my whole big bundle set. And the reason why it's not even open, see, but the reason why I pulled this is because I wanna kind of play around with just some basic smoked out looks with a black base but going in with some different kind of like gorgeous shimmer singles on top of that black base and just you know doing like dramatic eye looks like that so that's why I pulled this so that I can pair it with some of my black moxie um gorgeous absolutely gorgeous shimmers i did swatch these on instagram and oh my gosh i about passed out they're so gorgeous but anywho i want to try out something like that black base beautiful shimmer on top and just kind of see you know what i can come up with so that's why i pulled those 
Um, also, let me just go ahead and get these out of the way. These are two Adept Cosmetics palettes, which have become some of my absolute favorite shimmers. These are kind of like, in my opinion, like staple gorgeous shimmers <laughs> to have because they're so freaking beautiful. This is the Ninhydrin palette, and these are what the Ninhydrin shimmers look like. Yo. I can't I just I can't and then this is the plain Jane palette this one absolutely gorgeous as well as you can see just such a beautiful absolutely gorgeous variety of multi-chrome duochrome shimmery type shades to play with so yeah I kind of like to keep these close by no matter what palettes I have just in case I want to put it on the lid, pop it in the inner corner, just whatever. They're gorgeous. So, did pull these once again. <laughs> now, I do have here this Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. I don't know. I've really been just wanting to do a gorgeous purple eye look. I did one with the OPV Rainbow Splash, but this palette is really gorgeous and I want to give it a test run. I also pulled this because not only have I been in a purple mood, I've been in a green mood. And this is from XX Revolution. It's called Extortion. <laughs> Xxtortion. <laughs> and yeah, I fell in love with this color story as soon as I saw it. I love green. This is a beautiful little quad here. Very easy, you know, no must, no fuss. You don't have to figure out what to do. All the shades are right there. So I definitely want to use that. I also grabbed, like I said, I've been feeling like green, <laughs> but I grabbed my two e.l.f. Mint Melt palettes. I've had these for quite a while since they came out. Never used them, never tried them out, but every single eye look I see done with them is just so freaking gorgeous. I gotta play with these and see what I could do with them myself, so can't wait to use these. I pulled my Baroque palette from ColourPop. I was supposed to use this a long time ago, you guys, and never did. I love the packaging for this. Look at that. It's just, really? It's just, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> but it's kind of like, you know, like a gray-based, purpley-based blue like it's hard to really describe and explain you know it's just a really different type of vibe with this palette and i could just see like some gorgeous eye looks coming out of this especially with a cut crease some liner so yeah i want to play with this also pulled my abh in norvina collection this is one of the mini palettes my girl Lily sent me these. I think, did she send me all three? I might have bought one and she sent me two. If not, she sent me all three of them. Look how cute this is. This is just adorable. I do have the original larger palettes, but this one is the Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. And it's so freaking cute. But this color story, okay? Listen. Listen, okay? You guys know I try to use all of the shades in one eye look so can you imagine what this eye look is gonna look like it's gonna be pretty freaking crazy <laughs> so yeah this is really pretty next i have here from beauty bakery this is the sugar cookies palette bought this a while ago as well and this this palette is so pretty to me look at that isn't she gorgeous she is so pretty and yeah I'm, I'm gonna take her for a spin because she is just gorgeous. I don't think I've ever, have I used Beauty Bakery eyeshadows? I don't think I have. So this, I think, will be my first test run of Beauty Bakery eyeshadows. So let's see how we like them. Next, I did grab a couple of my LA Girl palettes because I have purchased these recently and have not tried them out yet this one is the la girl hey hey vacay and it is specifically good times and tan lines so you can see the color story there on the back very pretty teal shades in here i don't remember what palette it was was it the new natasha denona well we'll see because i think i pulled that one too that has a similar color story vibe to it but yeah, this is what this one looks like. Super pretty. 
gorgeous teals, um, you know, some warm tones in there. Very pretty. And then I have here this LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream. This one is backstage. Um, you know what? It's weird. It seems like I have used this, but I don't remember. I don't remember. I may have, but if I did, I'm probably going to use it again because it's pretty. <laughs> so, this is what she looks like. And I do. I really, really love the formula in these style of LA Girl palettes. They're really nice. I also pulled my Tammy and Revolution. This is collab number two, I believe, of her with Revolution. And listen, my mirror broke, so it's kind of like ghetto. But the palette still works. <laughs> so this is what this one is looking like. She has the gorgeous glitters in there to play with. I was watching one of her videos just not too long ago. And she took some of this red glitter and tapped it on top of a purple look. And I was like, girl, that is just too pretty. So anywho, I want to play around with this. I might go ahead and just replicate her look. Or I might do it like in blue or something. But very pretty. I also pulled this M -M -M Mitchell palette. Have not used his palettes yet, you guys. This one is the Head in the Clouds. Couldn't decide, but since I already have like a lot of green going on, I didn't pull the Feet on the Ground. I pulled this one instead. But, you know, after a while, it kind of gets like... <sighs> You know, I just have to pull whatever palettes I want to pull because since I love color so much, a lot of them have blues, a lot of them have greens, a lot of them have purples. So it can get repetitive at times. It just forces you to be more creative, you know. But this one, very, very gorgeous. I really want to play around with these shimmers in here because these shimmers look so gorgeous. So that's what I really want to play around with. I might do something with the gray since there's a couple of grays in here. I don't know. But anywho, so I pulled that. Yes, I know I pull way too many palettes, but <laughs> you guys are used to it by now, right? So I do have the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. I did go ahead and grab this. Um, she's pretty. She is. She's pretty. The Circle Loco is my favorite, of course, but this one is really pretty. Um kind of basic you know a little on the boring side but you guys know I'm gonna try and freak it up as much as I can <laughs> but it's it's still pretty nonetheless it really is to me I see two separate palettes quite honestly I see you know let's see if I can do this I see the warm tone basic palette and then I also see over here this cool blue palette so honestly I see two different palettes when I look at this so we'll just try and combine them as best we can and then I also pulled the it's all good from Colourpop I was looking at this and I was like you know what it's a really pretty palette if you really look at it with the beautiful pinks and purples and golds and just it's really pretty because at first I was kind of like, oh, I just bought a pink palette and why did I do that? But when you really study the color story in here, it's pretty. It really is. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to play with this and create something beautiful as well. And then lastly, I did pull this Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse. I always laugh when I look at this palette because I did a whole video trying to dupe this palette and talk myself out of buying it. And I just, I don't know what happened. I just collapsed and totally failed at that, honey, because I bought it. <laughs> I bought it and I haven't used it yet, but it's really pretty. Look at those shades. It is. It's really pretty. I mean, obviously, I really liked it and felt like it was pretty or else I wouldn't have spent two hours trying to dupe it. So, yeah, I failed. I bought it and it's really, really cute. I like the packaging because it's like the, you know, the moon or whatever that is. It's raised. So, it's really cute. Okay, you guys. So, this is it. This is my whole Shop My Stash for the upcoming month. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me and helping me to pick all of these amazing products. I'm super excited because everything that I picked, I think is going to work out well. We'll see. <laughs> so anywho, I'm not going to bore you with watching me put everything away. You guys know how it goes. Thanks again for watching. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on these products, if you've already used them or have them or thinking about getting them. And, you know, I will keep that in mind. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles! Doctor.